O you believe, fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you in order that you develop taqwa. Taqwa being a consciousness of Allah, being the third stage of Islam. We know Islam is built on five pillars, the declaration of faith, fasting, salah, hajj, zakah, these basic pillars of Islam. And beyond that, there are pillars of faith, six. And beyond that is the level, the highest level of Islam, which is referred to as Ihsan. Ihsan, coming from Hassan. Hassan means good. Ihsan, goodness. The purest form of goodness. Goodness which is a product of worshipping Allah as if we saw Him. As if He were visible to us. And we know how we would worship if we saw Allah. And if we can't achieve that, then we worship Him knowing that He sees us. And again, how would we worship if we really were conscious of the fact that Allah sees us? Surely, it would be different from the way that we worship on a daily basis. There are times when calamity strikes in our lives and at that time, we turn most sincerely to Allah and our prayers, our acts of worship change in their quality. But this is the way that we should be worshiping all the time. Not just when calamity strikes. That is Ihsan. That we try to establish that on a continual basis and not just when we have an emergency need. So fasting, as Allah declared, is described to develop that consciousness, that fear of God's displeasure, more so than the fear of God as we would fear a lion if it escaped from the, from the zoo and we saw it coming running towards us, we'd be scared. That's one kind of fear. But the other kind, the higher level, where we fear Allah's displeasure, we don't want Him to be displeased with us as we feel towards our parents, but on yet a higher level. This is the soul of Ramadan. This is the goal of Ramadan. And this is what we need to keep ourselves conscious of, continually reminding ourselves throughout this month that this is the goal. When we come to the masjid, we reflect, we remember, this is the goal. So let me make my prayers towards that goal. The various aspects of the fast, the early morning meal, the sunset, breaking of the fast, keeping that principle in mind both times. How we deal with people throughout the fast. Is that goal reflected in our dealings? When we know that the Prophet Muhammad had told us that the religion is good dealings. How we deal with people. How we relate to people. The reality of the religion comes out there. If our dealings are bad, then it means our religion is corrupted. If our dealings are good, then it means we're on the right track. This is the soul of Ramadan. This is the goal of Ramadan.